How's it people? It's the Friday before, the one that's just been and knowing that the weather's going to be absolutely disgusting Adam and I have escaped to the oak frame yard where the guys, uh, well it's all made now, the oak frame so we've come in, normally what you do when the oak frame's assembled um, most people sandblast it then oil it don't want to do that, we're doing something pretty different something I've not seen before and we're kind of half sanding it back to leave a lot of the discoloration and patina and stuff like that and um, then we're gonna coat it once it's all in situ so it kind of looks a bit more rustic and different which is gonna be great so um, yeah we've got a nice nice day in the workshop in the dry Tuesday morning, another beautiful day in paradise. Yesterday, the bearded one managed to get the bricks in, so we're up to damp course. The oak frame basically sits on top of this. Uh, we will probably get, uh, hopefully, up to damp, possibly on the other side, but that's not really that urgent. Um, this is fantastic, just gives a feeling, feeling the space. The room actually feels quite small now, it's not at all, but um, just compared to what it was once the walls are up it'll feel huge again because that's what it does uh what else we got going on basically just prep work this week really loads of little bits and pieces tying up loose ends wednesday next week the crane is coming um we've got scaffolding going up at the end of this week as well so all scaffolded out ready for the oak frame guys i'll show you a few of the little bits inside as well so in the main house, things are looking fairly well stripped out. Um, give you a bit of a sneaky peek. So that's the extension footprint, and this will be the view from the master bedroom. Obviously, will be that way a little bit. So one of the little jobs we're getting out of the way while um, while there isn't that much to do while we're kind of prepping for the oak frame. All the lintels on the windows and sills. I'm trying to track down some nice old reclaimed timber for the sills. Um, for all these lintels, some of them, that one's kind of a bit too far gone. Uh, these were all uncovered, none of these were on show. These ones aren't the best examples, but I think they'll be all right with a bit of a sand and round off. Then some of them are kind of a bit manky on one side. This one's quite nice. I did this one yesterday, so hopefully you can just about see that. So I've kind of pulled it so it's off from the wall a bit, so it'll protrude a bit. Got a bit of oaking underneath. All this kind of stuff is all really time-consuming. Bit of a faff, but um, that's what that's what makes the difference. Uh, and in this room, try and get the A-frame. I've got two A-frames that came out of the original chicken house. So we're going to take those apart and just kind of try and fashion them up either side in this room. This room's going to be vaulted, so nice height. It's just going to be super cool. So we're on it. We'll keep them busy. It's Wednesday evening, running the late shift with Elliot from Nectar Electrical. And I thought this bit was worth sharing. So we've got the window lintels. Been replacing them all upstairs. Absolute faff and complete pain of a job. Really time consuming, but nice bit of attention to detail that makes a difference. I was really hoping to leave this one because it's really nice and old and wobbly and all the rest of it. And we see this and this one, absolutely beautiful. It's got all the old cutouts in it. And this one is too far gone. I've had a look at them, got to replace them all. So just calculating for all the air dried oak we need. It's gonna cost a small fortune. There we go, it'll be worth it. Um, first thing tomorrow, we have got the scaffolding going up, so looking forward to that.
I've said it before and I will most likely say it again, but if you want a good quality, solid erection without it costing you a fortune, then speak to the boys at K&R, they will be sure to sort you out. Um, yeah, super chuffed with this, it's like another milestone and absolutely loving it. Cannot wait for the oak frame next Wednesday, getting the crane in here, it's just going to be amazing. Got a bit of fun stuff going on over the weekend, so I hope everyone else is having fun times out there. And I'll see you next week. Bye.